Hey, it's Sunday and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today, today I'm going to be doing a little get unready with me and also showing you kind of like my nighttime routine for all of my skincare products, how I take off my makeup, all that stuff. I already know I'm a catfish. Don't come for me in the comments. We are about to get very, very ugly. Also, today's video is sponsored by OK Beauty. So thank you, OK Beauty, for sponsoring today's video. OK Beauty is an amazing brand and they have some really, really cool skincare and also makeup products. A lot of this stuff you can buy online on Amazon. I have been absolutely loving this stuff. I got some face oil and also some lip and cheek tint, which has been absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys have been noticing in my videos, but I've been using their lip and cheek tint a lot. Nothing better than a product that will last a long time. You only need a little bit. A little goes a long way and not to mention, it's not just for your lips, it's for your cheeks too. So it's like two in one. For us darker skin girls, I found not one, but two colors that match my skin tone perfectly. Right now I have on a mixture of both. I'll show you what both of them look like. So this first one is like a very pinky red color. I got this in the color Tanami. This is the one that I wear pretty much every day. I've been wearing this one a lot if I'm doing nudes. It looks very, very cute with a brown lip liner. I have been loving this also for my cheeks. And the next one I got is in the color Coco. This one is like a deep brown purple color. It, it definitely looks like a nude lipstick. This one was like perfect for my skin tone. It looked very, very nude and very neutral. I love this one. I don't put this one on my cheeks, but it looks great on my lips. Okay, step one is to take off all of my makeup, of course, and I start off with my eyelashes. I am wearing uh, NYC Cocoa Lashes from palettebeautyshop.com. I pretty much always wear these. These are my favorite lashes. I put them on with hair glue, so it comes off very, very easily, and it doesn't pull out my real eyelashes, so. After that, I use Biore. I don't even know if I'm saying this right, Biore really don't know. I think it's a Japanese brand, but it's just a makeup remover wipe. And I take off all of my makeup. One thing I've changed about my skincare routine is that I'm really, really gentle now, especially around my eyes. I used to like scrub the poop out of them, but not anymore. Now I just go in very, very gently around my eyes. I am not in any rush to get any wrinkles. Already looking like a rat. It might look like I'm pressing hard, but I'm pressing very, very gently. I used to use cleansing oil, but I ran out, and so right now we're just using the wipe. I'm purposely doing my eyebrows last so that you don't click off of the video. I should probably ask y'all to subscribe right now before this gets any uglier. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Bye bye, eyebrows. How are you? make a world of a difference. Like even without makeup, I don't look like a rat until I just take off my eyebrows. That's when everything just goes downhill. It's just, this is why I can't get a husband. <laughs> now that all my makeup is off, depending on what day it is, um, I have three different face masks that I usually do. One's for brightening, one's for detox, and one is for like hydration. Today is a brightening day, so I'm going to go in with this mask. I have been preaching about this. It's a lamp before time. This is the best mask I've ever used in my life for lightening dark marks and hyperpigmentation. This thing is amazing. I get it from the body shop. It's called Chinese Ginseng and Rice Clarifying Polishing Mask. Absolutely amazing. I have never ever had a mask that worked so well before in my life, especially for lightening dark marks and getting rid of like hyperpigmentation and acne spots. It's like an exfoliant mask. It has these little Things in there. What's in things called? It has these little beads in there. And now it's in my hair. Okay, that's not, it's not part of the routine. <gasps> Get out of there. This looks like I'm shaving. And this is like one of those miracle products that not only work, but I see results pretty much right after I take this thing off. Like right after I take it off, I can see a difference in my skin. It's so freaking amazing. I have a hair thingy to keep my hair out of my face, but I don't know where it is right now. Of course, because I'm filming a video trying to be professional. Looking crazy. While this dries, I know I've mentioned in some other videos, but I consider drinking water as part of my skincare routine. So I'm gonna make myself some lemon water and go play with Doug, because he likes his playtime. Looking crazy, looking single. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
now with just water. <laughs> It's probably really hard to tell, but this freaking mask is already like evened out my skin tone. It's very bright and glowy. Next, I'm gonna wash my face, and I have been using again another rice water product. This is Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser from the Face Shop. It's a Korean brand. I don't know. I use this little ghetto spin brush. I bought this in Japan. I would love a real spin brush, but I will not pay for one. Gift ideas, guys. Another thing that I started doing recently, which has literally changed the game, changed the quality of my skin completely, is I started to wash my face for a full 60 seconds. I thought I had been washing it for 60 seconds, but um, I actually counted and it was only 30. So now I make sure to wash my face for the full 60 seconds. And another thing I've been doing is patting and not dragging anything across my face. Okay, now that my face is all clean, the next step is my toner. Can I just say that I never ever believed in toner until this one, and I will probably never buy another one other than this one. In Japan, it's super duper overpriced, so it's so irritating, but it's so worth it. This is the only toner that I felt like actually did something. Also, another thing that I've recently been doing is I stopped rubbing the toner all over my face and I started to just put a really good amount and pat it in instead. Try it out. Before, I'd like to rub like a cotton swab with the toner, but one, you're losing a lot of product. Two, you're not really putting anything on your face. And three, you really shouldn't be rubbing junk around your face in the first place. So as I start to do my skincare routine, you're gonna see that I like to allow each product to like soak into my skin fully before I put the next product on there. And that is where your water is gonna come in handy. Ooh, wait, if you have any kind of dark marked hyperpigmentation, acne scars, whatever the flip, don't buy anything else, only this, just this. This is all you freaking need. So my serum is also from Kiehl's. It's in the same line as my toner. I also have the moisturizer as well. The face mask that I put on earlier is one of my favorite products. This is my hands down favorite number one product in the whole dang world. It works so well. I ran out of it recently and I really didn't want to pay $70 to get another bottle, but I just did. Um, In America, I think they're like 50, 30, something like that. But over here in Japan, 70 bucks. In that time that I wasn't using it, oh my God, my skin was all jacked up and no other products work. I spent $150 on this Clinique one that is supposed to be better and it's not. Don't waste your time. So I just put a few drops. One other thing I will mention though, when I'm using the serum by itself without the toner and the moisturizer, I notice it doesn't work as well as it does like as a full kit. So I pretty much always just buy all of them. Again, I'm just gonna let this seep into my skin. Next, I go in with some eye cream. This is ROC Multi Correction Super I don't know, it's just a drugstore brand. I actually don't really believe in eye creams. However, I bought a whole bunch of them when I was stupid, so we're gonna use them. The skin underneath your eyes does not produce oils and it just needs to be moisturized and hydrated. I have naturally dark under eyes, like my mom does, everyone does. So sometimes it is hereditary, but I try to do all I can to not make it worse. So far, I have seen a huge difference when I start moisturizing properly underneath my eyes. This does add a really nice light layer of moisture underneath my eyes and it smells really good. It smells like honeycomb. Um, I usually don't like products that smell good, but whatever. After the eye cream, we're going to go in with a product from OK Beauty. So I have been trying this out for weeks now. Absolutely love it. I can't believe how much I like it. This is a face oil. I always, always put on a face oil, especially at night. It's supposed to fix textured skin and give your face like advanced hydration and it does. I've used so many face oils before and this one just feels like it is for me. It is very, very heavy. Think of it as like the castor oil of oils. It's very, very thick. This makes my face so freaking plump, youthful, and like hydrated and it lasts. Like it, it actually lasts. Other face oils that I put on, they just soak right into my skin. My skin sucks them right up and then I have like no moisturizer, no hydration. This one really, really hydrates my skin and it lasts all night. I like to say if I don't go to bed looking like a glazed donut, I didn't do it right. 
Now also right now I'm putting on quite a bit, a lot more than I would in the daytime because this is nighttime and my face absolutely loves hydration. It has a lot of different oils in there, some of which I've never even heard of, so I was really, really impressed and kind of shocked that these things work so well with my skin, so I'm very, very happy. Um, I recently bought this rosehip oil for my face broke me out instantly. So there are so many face oils that I cannot use, but this works really, really well. And when I wake up, my face is like hydrated and youthful and like full and not like dry and skeletal looking. So I'm looking greasy, I'm looking crazy, but guess what? We're not done. Next, I go in with a second eye cream. This one is from Kiehl's. This is their creamy eye treatment with avocado. This goes a long long way like I can see me having this at least for a year like I don't need a lot and it just is, is mm. very heavy moisturizer as an under eye cream should be so it is very very moisturizing I do not do this in the daytime I only do this at night because as I said it's a very very heavy cream and my makeup would be all over the place finally the last step and that is a moisturizer and I was told by the dermatologist to do these things in this order um me personally I would have thought to put the moisturizer on before the oil but no it's the moisturizer last it is the final clearly corrective brightening treatment that I have this one is almost out I'm so so sad I do not want to go buy another one because it is so expensive but my face is probably the most important thing other than my health and so I shouldn't be cheap with it. This moisturizer is absolutely amazing. It's not amazing for actually moisturizing, but for again, clearing up dark marks. I need products that actually work and actually do something and I know that they do something. I've tested every single product that I have here individually on their own with other products, stuff like that. So I know for a fact that they work. And just so I don't look so crazy, I'm gonna go in again with the OK Beauty uh, lip tint. Okay, so that is it. That is my entire nighttime skincare routine. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. I will get back to you. If you're interested in any of these products, I will try and find them and link some of them down below. Thank you again, OK Beauty, for sponsoring today's video. If you want to check out their products, highly, highly recommend the two that I tried. And then finish my water. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.